Who cares about the environment? Go dig up lithium for your EVs. So when it comes to these camshafts, the old one feels about a pound and a half heavier. So who's to say this one may spool up quicker? Reason for it is because it's hollow. We call it gun drilled. See all the way down in there. And this camshaft here is solid. So that makes it a little heavier. One thing I've seen watching videos of individuals who work at GM hand build engines for specialty vehicles like the ZR1 and Z06 Corvettes, um, what they get to do is they sign the valley cover that sits on top of the engine. Not that I'm saying I'm anybody, but this is the second time I've gone into this engine. So this car ever gets, if I ever sell it and see. You know, Somebody else has this car, they dig into the engine, maybe they'll see uh, see my name here. I'm going to do Chemical Spore, which is my channel's name. And I look, just enough ink in this marker to do it. So after you install your camshaft, you got to have that thrust plate. So this is from Summit Racing. Here's a part number, 150106. And it comes with all the necessary hardware. Has the gasket already on there. It's gonna have these bolts that are pre-treated with thread locker. And of course the plate itself. So it's gonna go, as you can see, look at that design. It's gonna fit right into where we put the camshaft. So let's get that going.
so the thrust plate bolts are going to be torqued down to 18 foot pounds. Wow, I felt like it stripped, and it did. Okay, so since that bolt wanted to strip what I did was I took a one size bigger uh, star key as they call it and I hammered it in there so uh, so it moves so let's see if I can at least get it to 18 foot pounds I'm hoping to never change the cam in this thing again there we go I'm happy with that, so I just want one size bigger. I hammered it, you know, just put it up, line it up, and hammered it in there. So, you know, hopefully I can use that to get it out next time. But like I said, I'm hoping to never change the camshaft in this thing again. All right, I'm slowly getting this boat put back together little by little. So, got the heads over here, cleaned up the covers valve covers which I had painted red the first time that I uh, built the car see this paint that's chipped off which is astonishing to me because I did three coats of primer on it with three coats of paint and they came out so good but after four years and a lot of heat under that hood it takes its toll on the car so can't wait to get her back on the road. But it's it's been a journey. And if you watched my last video, you guys are uh, you guys been here with me. So thank you for that. And this is chemical spore. Out.